What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new video. We are going to be showing off a little bit of a tutorial on how to play Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross in full landscape mode, 60 FPS. 60, hello? Go up to go up to 60, please. But why? Okay. Okay, not now it's going up. But um either way, you can see how buttery smooth this game looks and it looks wonderful and people have been asking the thing is I personally do not play the game in landscape mode just because I really like using an overlay for my videos and I'll switch to it now to show you but it'll look like you know because my game's in landscape mode it's gonna look really finicky if I add it on but I prefer to use when I'm presenting a video I prefer it to look like this but there are people who would rather play the game landscape and I play the game landscape on my cell phone I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that so this is also a plug for my bluestacks link because currently what I'm using to demonstrate the game is bluestacks bluestacks is the emulator that I'm using to play seven deadly sins grand cross it's also the emulator that I used to play or was playing naruto blazing at the time because bluestacks is you know for the most part an emulator that rarely has any issues with it it never crashes for me and that's the biggest thing because if in this game autoing is huge right if you want to auto and you want to auto overnight you cannot be having your game crash that is the most tilting tilting thing that have happened while playing this game so if you don't want any crashes you want to play this game on landscape mode and you want it to go whenever it does it usually goes up to 60 fps i'm showing you the counter the blue stacks counter but it can go up to 60 FPS. I can actually set it to even further beyond. Now if we go under engine, like I have set to 144 FPS, but clearly the game has to allow you to go to that point. My monitor is 144 hertz monitor, but yeah, don't worry about that too much. But 60 FPS is the cap of 7 Elysians into Grand Cross. The game honestly looks amazing, uh, especially in full landscape. If you turn on all the settings, you go to settings and you go to ultra. The game looks great. And like if I was to go into a battle. Let's see if I have any of my dungeons open. So if you go into a battle and you can just see how well it looks. Now, if you guys want to also use blue stacks, the link is down below. I always have it in all my videos for the last uh, two weeks or so. Pretty much. It'll bring you to the Bluestacks link. Uh, it'll ask you to download it. And then once you download it, you'll actually have uh, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross sudo installed. It'll just be there as an icon or a shortcut on your desktop. You finish the installation and the game is there. If you're already on Android, it is the easiest thing to swap over. You just link your Google Play and you can be using these simultaneously at, you know, between your phone and your emulator. That's what I do right now. I constantly go back between my emulator and my phone whenever I'm recording to when I'm just playing by myself. Main thing, like I said, is there is no crashes. And this is... Bon you're, you're too loud, okay? This is the main way I record everything I do for you guys. And there's a couple of people, there's a decent amount of people that want to create content as well. I get a billion messages on like hey how did you set up your overlay what do you use to record how are you recording your computer screen or how are you doing this how are you doing that and it might not seem obvious like to me it seems obvious because i've been doing this for like four years now but when i started off it was the most confusing thing ever so using an emulator makes recording your screen significantly easier now keep in mind you do need you know a decent enough computer because you're emulating an entire phone on your computer while also running the computer itself. You can change these settings uh, to match match your computer a little bit better. But besides that, that's really the key to playing 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross in 60 FPS. You can see here that in game it goes pretty much always to 60. Now, the next part is how do you play the game in landscape? Because the game naturally does not have a landscape mode. This does has nothing to do with an emulator. You can do this on your Android phone. You cannot, from what I, you know, I don't know anything about iOS, right? So if you can figure it out on iOS, go ahead. But this is simply for Android devices at the moment. The 
app that I use is called Rotation Control, and there's plenty of apps that do this. Uh, you just look up screen rotation and you can see here that there's tons and tons of apps. And the one that I used prior to this was this one right here, Screen Rotation Control. But this is the one that I've been using on my phone, and I know how to use it. It's not, it's not like they're difficult to use or anything, it's just that I'm familiar with it, so I use this one quite a bit. And it's as simple as, if you get this one in particular, it's as simple as opening the app up, hitting start, controlling rotation. You can also have it start on boot if you want it always there. And you simply pull down the notification bar and change it to, you just make it rotate. I currently have it as auto rotate on my phone. But I have it this mode, right? where it auto-rotates depending on how I hold it. That way I can play the game in landscape or in portrait mode, no matter, without having to constantly change a setting. But with blue stacks, you can't actually rotate things easily. <laughs> so it becomes it's a little bit harder to do that. But you can pretty much go into here. If you go normally, you know, normally the game is like this, right? Where it is horizontal, Sorry, this one changes it to landscape and that's it now uh, you're playing in landscape it's as simple as that some people prefer this some people prefer portrait mode you gotta remember that the game is designed in portrait mode and landscape mode is not the intention of the game but it does convert pretty easily over to this and that's it i'm not going to go too far into the video uh it would really help me a lot if you guys do use my blue stacks link but besides that it's just an uh, informative video on how to play the game in landscape mode and you can play up to 60 FPS. To do that, just make sure if you're using BlueStacks, you go under settings. And you can change all the stuff to however you want. If you want a little bit more crispier look, you can add uh, change the DPI. DPI is... what? I don't know. I thought that was a different word. And then I'm pretty sure DPI has to do with pixels per inch. But what does the D stand for? Is that PPI? I don't know. Okay, okay. I, I was pretending like I knew what I was talking about. And everything else here I have at default. You can see here that it's using my, my NVIDIA graphics card to help speed it up a little bit. You can look into these things. I would not, like, unless you know what you're doing with the settings when it comes to the graphics stuff, I wouldn't do too much with it. This is the settings I'm using for BlueStacks. The frame rate I have to 144. It does not matter unless the game supports beyond it. But games are now slowly going above 60 FPS because phones are not capable of going beyond that. The OnePlus phone goes to 90, 90 hertz. The uh, the new Samsung lineup goes to 120. So slowly games will catch up to it, which is why they give you this option of going even further beyond 60. And besides that, I don't really touch anything else. You can set up your own key, like keyboard shortcuts, things like that. This is how I always play the game on my computer. And this is the exact quality that you guys see it whenever I make a video off of it. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. That's really it. Hopefully I said that word too many times. I'm glad if you guys use my BlueStacks link, it would appreciate it a lot. It would help me out a good, a good amount. And that's it. Stick around for some more content. I'll be making a bunch of top five videos in the future that will help and won't be related to an ad. <laughs> Until next time, have a good one. Stay safe, wash your hands, sanitize your stuff, cover your, cover your cough. Goodbye.